Hi, this is Rose from Bighorn Library. Remember to, cre to push on an ad once in a while or watch one of the ads because that creaky sound you hear is our very old camera, so we'd like to replace that. And that's what we'll use the money for if we get enough from people watching ads on our channel. The craft we're going to do today is really, really fun. This summer we've been doing a program called Go at the Library for Summer Fun Reading, and today we're going to go bananas. We've cribbed this craft right off of Phil Hansen, who's written a book called Tattoo a Banana. He's also on YouTube under the name Fill in the Circle, and he's at www.fillinthewhat.com. What spelled with three A's. It's full of really fun things. How to paint pictures with Coca-Cola, how to make a beard out of cardboard, and how to tattoo a banana. Here's ours. It's not going to get much fancier than that for me than just go bananas. I'm not really the arty type. All you have to have is bananas. Scissors or a knife. Not everybody knows this, but if you pull bananas off of a bunch, they go brown a lot faster. If you cut them off, your bananas will last better. And you need push pins. And the push pin is what you use to tattoo your banana with. I have go bananas, and I'm just going to push and push in here, make a little circle at the bottom make my exclamation point turn into an exclamation point. This is really fun once the kids have done making their crafts and we'll let them freehand if they're older. For younger kids we'll likely give them a pencil and some stencils and let them trace out a pattern that then they can poke themselves and I think it's going to be really fun. Plus we end up with a snack. What could be better than that? Bye now!